What if things don't end up like they're supposed to? What if this work, this energy I've invested doesn't pay off? What if I stay average? What if my story was never meant to be unique? What if I try and I fail? What if my friends stop calling? What if I let my family down? What if people don't like what I have to say? What if my idea is a little too out there? What if I'm pushing things too far too quickly? What if the worst possible scenario happens? What if I lose everything? What if success is for someone else? What if I'm meant to work, to pay bills, and to sleep? What if the starting role is just too much for me? What if I was a born follower? What if I never find happiness? What if I don't choose the right path? What if I get lost? What if I can never be as good as the person standing next to me? What if a life of meaning will always be something I'll have to stare up at, wishing, dreaming? Or what if I just change the way I look at the world? What if today is just the beginning? What if I decide who I'm going to be and become it? What if my actions can create a ripple effect that will transcend space and time? What if impossible isn't fact? What if it's opinion? And what if I don't buy it? What if this new world means that existence starts with me? What if I can be the one people look up to? What if my past got me here but has no effect on where I can go? What if every single day is a fresh start? What if I can be the one who defies the odds? What if my dreams become the standard? What if my ideas change how people see reality? What if the term difficult is nothing more than a cop-out? What if my doubters ignite the flame that is my success? What if my fear of mediocrity overcomes my fear of the unknown? What if second place is no longer an option? What if I make the choice to live every second of my life like it's a miracle? And what if that's exactly what every second is? What if it's time to start living like it? To start thinking like it? To never sell myself short? What if nothing good happens until I believe it? What if I stop wasting my time trying to convince others? Because I am the only one who must be convinced. sitting at the kitchen table, having a morning cup of coffee, reading the paper, when his son comes sprinting down the stairs, all amped up, ready to go out and play. Last night, the man promised him that they'd spend the day together, so he blocked off his whole day, ready to spend some quality time with his son, but he could use just a few more minutes, right, reading the paper, just kind of finishing up his morning routine. So he has this idea to buy himself a little time. He rips out a picture of the world from the newspaper a few pages back, tears it into about 20 tiny pieces, puts them on the table in front of his son, says, let's play a game, right? Here's a puzzle. As soon as you can put this picture of the world back together, we'll go outside, we'll start our day. Picks up the paper, continues reading. Less than three minutes go by. His son excitedly pulls down his dad's newspaper, says, Dad, I'm done. And the father looks up with an expression of amazement on his face. I'd astonished his son was able to do that so quickly. Obviously, he asked him how. And his son explained that a piece of paper fell on the floor. And when he bent over to pick it up, he could see through the bottom of the glass table that there was a picture of a man on the back of all the little pieces. So 
we sat up, turned all the pieces over, and he put the man together. And once he did that, the world just fell into place. right to that long road, that journey to success. So often, we think of the world as a rule book, as a decider of fate. We don't think of ourselves as that vehicle to success. And this story has a very unique way of uncovering that specific truth. We get from the world what we invest in ourselves. Right, the patience, the daily work, commitment, focus, all these things that transform us unlock even the toughest doors because piecing together the world you want is an impossible task if you haven't created your ideal self first if you haven't built yourself up every day making yourself a little better a little stronger in the same sense that piece by piece bricks become walls that become houses that become cities that proceed to make up our reality You are your greatest asset. You need to treat yourself that way. Invest in education. Invest in health. Invest in happiness. Maximize the person and your experiences and your accomplishments will follow. I was once told that to get what you want, you need to focus on it with everything you have. Better yourself every day. Make your world revolve around success. Build winning habits, winning mentalities, winning mindsets. Then you can watch the world unfold before you. And when that time comes, it will be because of everything you've invested into yourself, into being better. The world, reality, life, it had no choice but to follow suit. something I want to address for a few reasons. One, because every day I'm asked questions that pertain directly to this. Two, because it will change how you think about your future. And it's that effort and talent always find a way, period. There are no exceptions to this rule. And the funny thing is, the people who are worried, that haven't found their path, they don't know where to focus their skill set, terrified about the future, if that's you, you're doing the work. Right? You're thinking about the right things. You've made your life a priority. The dude on the couch eating chips for 12 hours that needs to be concerned. And I would guess that he's probably not. And so here's the golden ticket. Right? It's that idea of repurposing your anxiety or any uncertainty you have into a sense of exploration because it's a good thing. Caring is step one. Having drive is step one. And you are there. You have the pieces. Just like a Ferrari in park. Yeah, it's not moving, but is there anything to be concerned about? If I think it's on the freeway, of course it's going to fly. Maybe it doesn't know which freeway. But who cares? That's the fun part. It has everything it needs. Sometimes it's not about where you're going. Sometimes it's about what you have, who you are, what you value. Odds are if you have the drive to improve yourself, you're going to improve. So relax. Because the truth is, life is not as serious as we make it out to be. It just isn't. You could pack your shit, you could go live on an island for five years, come back and reacclimate, and things would be the same here. Once you see that, that you are the initiator of success, not the class you choose, the person you date, the job you take, you are the Ferrari, the million dollar man. But you 
like what they do. So you might as well trust and enjoy the process. When I think of the people in my life, there are many that I consider to be heroes. People who have helped me grow, shape the person that I've become over the years. Some I'm lucky enough to interact with every day, right? I know them personally. Others I've admired from a distance. Reading their books, learning from their examples. It's safe to say that without these people in our lives, we would not be where we are today. They provide the knowledge, the skills, and the tools to take on the world. But what they cannot do is push you through the door. They can help you build your wings, but they can't make you fly. For that, you have to look inward to the most important hero in your life. The one who can save you from any situation. Who can take you to heights that you've never dreamed of. The one who decides if you fail or succeed long before the challenge is even attempted. The one you see in the mirror. A hero is someone who's willing to take the dangerous road. To go where most people will not. To put everything on the line for what you believe in. Heroes by their very nature are exceptional. Expect that of yourself. Know that just because everyone sees something a certain way, it doesn't mean it can be challenged or adjusted. You are an innovator, striving towards something new. And heroes don't run from the unknown, they seek it out and find the strength to embrace it. Victory is a product of struggle, of pain. Of the times when the walls were closing in around you, but there was never a doubt in your mind that you'd get yourself out. Sometimes it's not easy to see the finish line, to peer down that long, treacherous road ahead and feel completely confident that things will work out, you know, that success is waiting there for you in one form or another. Obviously there's no road signs letting you know that your progress is paying off. There's no blatant indicator that you're on the right track. Essentially there's nothing. Right, nothing but the feet underneath you, taking you one step at a time to a fate that's completely unknown. And it's in this instance, 
while looking destiny in the eye. So you have to remember, anyone can sail in smooth waters, anyone can dance when the music is playing. The great leveler, though, is how you live when it's not. When you're listening like your life depended on it, but there's no song to be heard, how do you push forward? You know, no one else can get you there. There's no shortcut to success. You'll find that the answer's in your chest. Because it's there you'll find the melody that's been pumping through your veins since the first day you opened your eyes. Helping you create your own music, your own song, your own voice. It's what has the power to get you through to the next level. When your instinct tells you to quit, that maybe it's just not worth it. When most give up, it's why you'll be able to hang on. Because the song will come. The skies will clear, the sun will rise. But you have to know that. And you have to know it now, when all you have is ambition and a plan. When it's just you, your song, and the road ahead. There's no concrete evidence of triumph, but you don't need that. Persistence during times of doubt, during improbability, that's what makes triumph so rare, so precious. It moves the strong will forward to bigger and better things. Things aren't handed to you, but they materialize over time. They transform from nothing to something. They emerge from hardship, out of ideas that were perceived by others as crazy. As most achievements throughout the course of human history were. Let people talk about odds, how difficult success is. They can't look inside of you. They can't hear your song. They don't know what you have. But they will find out later. When you've gotten past the mud, the dirt, the grind, the stuff that no one wants to endure. When you're singing your song to the world, for yourself, but also for them, for those who need it, those seeking their own song. One day you'll be able to tell them what it took, how it wasn't easy, but you knew that if you pushed hard enough, the stars would align. You heard the music before it played. And how sweet the sound. time in 